we can also do some precision editing. Let's take a look. So I have these two clips here. And let's say the transition isn't exactly where I want it. I want to have this transition come in a little bit sooner or maybe a little bit later, right after this one here. How do I go and do that? All you have to do is click on the little gear here on the clip and go to Precision Editor. What's going to happen is it's going to open up on the bottom here. You're going to see your two clips that you want to edit. And I can just drag those and move those around. So like I said, maybe I wanted to have this come in a little bit later. Just drag it over. And now this blue line here is where it transitions from one clip to another. Now it's going to transition a little bit later. I can also grab this blue line. Let's say that's where I want to transition it. So you can either grab the blue line or you can grab the clip themselves. When you have a transition in there, an actual transition, let's take a look at that. So I'm going to hit Done. And let's add a transition. So I'm going to add the, let's add the swap here. And we're going to put it right down here. And I'm going to close this. All right, let's take a look at it. That seemed a little bit quick and I want to move that transition. I want to see a little bit more of that canyon in the transition. So let's go and click on Precision Editor. And you're going to see it open up in the bottom here. And here I can actually go and move things around again. I can go and drag this one over this way. I can go and drag this one over this way. So I can choose where I want that transition to be. I can also change the length of the transition. So let's go. Here's a transition. If I drag that over, now it's going to be a slower transition. If I drag this one over this way, it's going to be a slower transition. And now when I hit Done, let's go and take a look. See how nice and slow that was? That's because I went in there and did some precision editing and actually lengthened that transition. Now one thing, if you have a transition in there and it goes really, really fast and you want to slow it down, you have to have a longer clip in there for that. If this clip, this clip here is eight seconds, if this was a four second clip, I would not be able to have that longer transition in there. You need to have a little bit of a longer transition. Right now, if I go and try to drag that over, it won't let me drag it over anymore. That's because that clip just isn't big enough to allow me to do that. So if you go and the transition is not long enough, go into precision editing, drag it out and see how far you can drag it out. You also have a couple of options up here. This will show you the titles and any other options that you have in there. So you can do some precise editing on that. Same thing with the waveforms. Maybe you want to do some precise editing on the waveforms, audio waveforms. So that is how you do precision editing. All you have to do is just go underneath the gear of the clip that you want to do some precise editing and all the clips around it are going to show up. If you don't want to see the audio waveforms and the titling, just hide those and now you're looking at the clips themselves. And then just drag what you want. If you want to drag the clip over to the left, you can drag it over to the left. If you want to drag it over to the right, you can drag it over to the right. Do some really nice precise editing there to get that transition just where you want it to be. Works with straight cuts when there's actually not a transition in there or with the transitions in there that you drag. And that's precision editing.